Are you ever tired of the constant destiny of slaying dragons, delving into dungeons, or saving the world? While leading the life of a hero is undoubtedly admirable, isn't it possible to live a different kind of life in Skyrim? In today's video, I'll be categorically explaining how to add content that allows for various lifestyles in the world of Skyrim. I've curated informative content and mods for you, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could watch the video until the end. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the Bard. Despite Skyrim having a Bard's College, there's actually very little actual Bard content in the game. Therefore, to organize Bard content, modding is ultimately necessary. First and foremost, building Skyrim's Bard content revolves around Skyrim's Got Talent, Improve as a Bard. This mod adds a system where players can play instruments and improve their skills, with this mod, if you have a flute, lute, or drum, you can start playing right away. The main reason for introducing this mod is that Skyrim citizens react every time you play. If your performance was a mess, various NPCs will react with cheers, jeers, and even irritation, enhancing immersion. The prerequisite mod for using this, BA Bard Songs, adds bard songs played with instruments, Instead of replacing existing songs, it adds new ones that play randomly. Additionally, Flute Animation Fix corrects the animations of characters playing the flute in Skyrim. This mod fixes the bug where the flute hovers in front of the character, which occurs when you have installed XP32 or similar mods. Furthermore, you can further expand Bard's College quests through mods like Bard's Reborn Student of Song Become a Bard, and Bard's College Expansion. If you found the original Bard's College quests to be too short on content, this mod allows you to add various quests. Enjoy Bard content and rich stories together. Next up, let's talk about merchant-related content. Commerce in Skyrim involves acquiring various items in the world and obtaining septums by selling them. This kind of content can be the finishing touch to your adventures in the Skyrim world. In the original Skyrim, once you acquired items through exploration, they could only be bought or sold through merchants. However, when you engage in modding for merchant-related content, you can immediately sell items. This integration of exploration, quests, and commerce makes the adventure in Skyrim even more captivating. The most fundamental mod for this content is your market stall. With its ideal and fitting theme of wandering and commerce, this mod allows players to open a flea market and sell goods to NPCs. Simply placing the market stall item on the ground enables you to sell items from anywhere. The major advantage of this mod is the ability to sell items through wandering, as mentioned earlier. Additionally, it allows for real-time setting up of a stall and selling items from anywhere. Secondly, it enables customers to roam around your store in real time, presenting price negotiations when they find the items they desire. These elements further immerse you in commerce, providing another layer of enjoyment in Skyrim. If you've decided to add merchant content, it's essential to improve Skyrim's trading and exchange system. Trade and Barter serves as the best solution for this issue, allowing you to adjust or deactivate many new variables related to trade and barter ratios in Skyrim, including merchant gold, trade perks, and restocking rates. Now, Merchants will offer different prices based on various factors such as your faction rank, relationships, and race. Goods will be cheaper in small towns, but more expensive in major cities. Major city merchants will not only have more gold than those in small towns, but investing in them will also provide additional inventory items, among other features. Furthermore, by adding trade routes, regional economy, you can significantly overhaul Skyrim's economic system. 
This mod dynamically adjusts the prices and merchant inventory based on real supply and logical demand for food, drinks, animal parts, materials, ores, ingots, soul gems, and spell tomes in each region. This creates an immersive regional economy experience. These regional differences will form profitable trade routes, encouraging players to travel along these paths. Next, let's talk about the mod called RE, Real Estate Continued. With this mod, you can find real estate signs outside most buildings, allowing you to buy, sell, or lease properties for profit. Beyond ownership, you can also choose the amount tenants should pay you. Additionally, if you own a shop, you'll receive discounts on sold items, own a mine, and you'll receive ore extracted by miners, or own a farm and you'll be able to deliver some of the produced food. Depending on the type of real estate you own, this mod provides various unique benefits. It offers a fresh perspective and value to many buildings in Skyrim that you might have previously passed by without much thought. So it's definitely worth paying attention to. Next, let's talk about hunting content. In fact, hunting in Skyrim involves tracking down animals, harvesting their carcasses, and selling or cooking different parts on the spot for survival and profit. Connecting hunting, survival, and sales into a unified concept is the best approach. It might even allow you to lead a life as a hunter in Skyrim. However, one limitation is that the parts harvested from animal carcasses don't fetch a high price, and their weight often doesn't justify the need to hunt and harvest. Yet, when using basic needs mods like Sunhelm, which compel the player to eat, Hunting gains more significance. If your character is left starving for too long, they'll suffer from debuffs, thus making it necessary to hunt and consume animals on the spot. Mods that enable you to harvest animals on the spot offer a variety of features. The combination of simple hunting overhaul and carry your carcasses, which I introduced recently on this channel, is both lightweight and versatile in terms of functionality. Simple Hunting Overhaul allows you to skin animals for their hides or carry their carcasses to sell in towns. Carry Your Carcasses implements real-time motion for carrying animals and the object of the animal carcass. In addition to these mods, you can also use the Campfire mod, or alternatively, Vitrium's Camping Stove. Vitrium provides a wide range of tools, and the Camping Stove is one of my personal favorites. It allows you to cook on the spot in the wilderness, making it a great complement to the simple hunting overhaul. Though it may deviate slightly from this topic, I'd also like to suggest using the immersive death cycle. This mod introduces a feature where dead animals decompose over time. From the perspective of a hunter who needs to hunt, occasionally encountering decomposing animals can enhance immersion. Of course, this will also lead to different looting items. Lastly, I'd like to introduce a mod that adds mini-games. It's called Tavern Games, mini-games in Skyrim, and it's already quite well known among seasoned players. This mod adds various mini-games to Skyrim. With this mod, you can enjoy different games in inns, playing as characters like mages or warriors. Firstly, there's a lottery where you can win scrolls, potions, gold, and more. As a special prize, there's an inn voucher that allows you to stay for free in any inn for three nights. Next, we have Hero's Gambit, a card game. Each player receives three cards numbered from one to 10. The player with the highest total wins. However, some cards have special effects, adding a strategic element to the game. Then, there's the dice game. Each player rolls two dice, and the player with the highest total wins. However, rolling a seven results in a loss, <laughs> while rolling a 12 means an automatic win. Lastly, there's a board game. Each player moves their colored piece on the board. When moving, you roll the dice and move the number of spaces indicated. 
There are various spaces on the board, leading to gaining or losing gold, making exchanges with other players, returning to the starting point, and more. The player who collects the most gold wins. Originally, it wasn't compatible with alternate conversation camera. However, it's been reported that you can enable it by opening the console and typing Enable Player Controls after the game has started during the tavern game. Keep this in mind if you want to use them together. Before we wrap up, don't forget to grab that must-have Skyrim mod we discussed today. It's a game changer that expands Skyrim's innovative content in various ways. Thanks for joining us, and remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more exciting Skyrim content. Until next time, happy adventuring.